right, begin. What's going on y'all and welcome back to the channel. I hope each and every one of you are doing well this morning. Now before we get started I want to ask you guys a favor. If you don't mind go ahead and punch that like button and also smash that share button so we can get this channel recognized you dig. And if you're on Instagram go ahead and give me a follow there at TV so that we can stay connected. Now with all of that said let's go ahead and get down to business because the news dropped yesterday that Raymond Santana of the Exonerated Five has filed for divorce from his wife Chandra Day Davis, aka Delicious. Now, I'm pretty sure that you guys are privy to who Delicious is from the iconic reality TV show, Flavor of Love. Now, Raymond and Delicious, they met on Instagram in 2019, and it's been said that Candy Burris had a hand in facilitating, you know, the two of them actually meeting. Now, six months after they actually met and got acquainted with one another, they ran to the altar really quick. And so the two got married in which was said to be a lovely and lavish wedding. Now, there were a few people that were reluctant to give the couple their stamp of approval due to the fact that they felt that the two of them moved too fast. But hey, when you're in love, it doesn't matter what the outsiders think. The only stamp of approval that you need is from one another. And so the two took it upon themselves to take their love to another level. And so they ended up at the altar swapping vows. Now, the two of them did experience some issues within their marriage early on. And so in March of 2021, they joined the cast of VH1 Couples Retreat. Now, the main objective was to celebrate black love, but it was also a focal point for the couples to hash out any differences that they have, right? And so there were other couples on the show like Kirk Frost and Rashida from Love and Hip Hop and also Ray J and Princess Love from Love and Hip Hop. So let's, just, let's start with you. What can viewers expect to see when they tune into Couples Retreat? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Uh, a lot of relationship, uh, you're going to see a lot of love, but you're going to see a lot of unpacking of baggage. And, um, you know, all of us want to come in very happy and we want to play nice. But truth of the matter um, is the purpose that was intended is for us to learn. And sometimes with learning, you know, there there are a few things that you have to to deal with. And so although Raymond and I are newlyweds, we still had a lot of things that we needed help with. And that's what you're going to see. You're going to see those things unfold. Now, it's been reported that Delicious and Raymond have been separated since November the 7th, 2021. But it seemed on yesterday that Delicious had reached her boiling point and she pulled her entire wig off in an effort to expose her ex-husband-to-be for lying and cheating. So Delicious posted this on Instagram. She said, I married a narcissist who is a complete liar and a cheat and I'm finally ready to speak my truth. Stay tuned. Hashtag gloves all. Now, a fan responded to Delicious in support and basically she said, Honey, I pray for you to heal through this no one deserves the pain that comes with a narcissist i'm currently dealing with it the mask these men wear is almost like two different personalities they come in dressed as everything you pray for and then turn into everything you never wanted they're always the victim they're never wrong and everything is your fault nothing you do is good enough their victim card is elite I think they carry the black card of victims. It never runs out, never expires. But seriously, I pray you get out of this with ease and start your healing process. Unfortunately, narcs do not change. They suffer from childhood traumas that cause them to be wired differently and they don't know how to heal and break away from it. And so Delicious responds to the fan and says, this has saturated my soul and penetrated my heart because I'm not alone. I never want to be misunderstood, but this isn't just happening to me. I pray for all women and children who suffer from not understanding how to help themselves or their loved one who suffers from childhood trauma. I didn't leave him. I stuck it out. He left us with a sad emoji and a broken heart emoji. So a comedian by the name of Anthony who goes by Side Ninja Nix on Instagram, and I'm paraphrasing here, but he seemed to have posted in support of Delicious, and this is what he said. 
He said, I knew that ninja ain't know what to do with my baby. Y'all don't understand the pain I go through watching a good woman being mistreated. I'm here for you, baby. I'm going to always be on your side. Remember, a husband is temporary, but a side ninja is forever. Now, I don't know if Delicious and this guy had anything that was intimate that was going on. It hasn't been confirmed. Maybe he's just joking. He is a comedian. But anyway, it prompted Santana to respond on his Instagram story. And he said, y'all go tell at side ninja nicks and again i'm paraphrasing i don't want her in my future voice peace now santana and comedian michael blackson seem to be close friends and santana took to his instagram story and he posted a video of him i guess showing his weight loss because he has been working you know to get his body back in shape and things of that nature but ultimately santana reposted michael blackson tagging him and saying i don't think he cheats but that wink tells me otherwise at santana and so basically, you know, it seems as though that Santana was trolling the situation because Delicious had just came out saying that he had cheated on her or he's admitting that he did, right? Because otherwise, why would you repost that? But anyway, I want to implement this receipt because I just found it. So Delicious posted this on her Instagram story. And so the guy that I was talking about, that's a comedian that goes by the screen name Side Ninja on Instagram. And again, I'm paraphrasing. She basically reposted this and it says a boyfriend and husband are temporary, but a side ninja is forever. And I'm going to always be by your side at I am so delicious. And so delicious responded and said, LOL, thank you at side ninja Nix. I needed this laugh. Now, Delicious did post this to her Instagram story. Now, a lot of people are thinking that she's being shady with this post because, you know, a lot of people are saying that she spent up this man's settlement money that he got. And I believe that Santana received $8.2 million. But she posted this and said, still my happy place. And a lot of people are alluding to the fact that this is the house that Raymond Santana bought and he no longer lives there. So they're saying that Delicious got a house out of the deal right now. I don't know that to be factual information that Delicious was plotting on this man's money, but she did allude to the fact that Raymond Santana left her. And so it's not above the realm of possibility that he just left her the house. Now, the divorce docs that were filed by Santana state that the marriage was irretrievably broken and that there's no hopes for any reconciliation. It also states that most of everything that's going to be handled as far as their divorce is going to be handled between the both of them and that neither party has to pay any alimony. But anyway, this situation is a bit unfortunate. Now, I see a lot of people saying that Delicious knew what she was up against when she got with him and things of that nature that he could possibly want to deal with other women because he was locked up for quite some time. If I'm not mistaken, he was exonerated in 2002 and he was out of prison. And him and Delicious didn't meet until 2019. So from 2002 to 2019, I'm pretty sure that Santana had a plethora of women, right? And so some people act as if Santana just got out of prison, like 2019 or 2020. And if that was the case, I can see Delicious saying, hey, you know, I don't think that we should get married. You should play the field a little bit. You've been locked up for quite some time. And then come back to me when you're ready, if I'm available. And I'm pretty sure that Santana could possibly have felt the same way if he was fresh out of prison, that he didn't want to make no type of commitment commitment when he just got out right and so i don't understand how people are trying to use that as an excuse to validate why santana could have been possibly cheating on delicious but anyway guys listen i want to hear from you all drop down in the comments and let me know what you think about this whole particular situation like i said the rumor out here is that santana is going broke and delicious took him to the cleaners and that's why he's filing for divorce again i don't know that to be factual but that's what the streets are saying all right, so drop down in the comments and let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.